when most of you first learn calculus, you probably, you might or might not have seen how to derive it from first principles, but once you start learning a lot more derivatives, like you learn that the derivative e x, e to the power x is actually e to the power x, and the derivative ln x is 1 over x, maybe you don't understand why it's actually derives so like maybe you just learn them as rules but like most of mathematics it's possible to derive all these things from a, a really small set of axioms so in this video let's look at what a derivative actually is so the definition of a derivative is basically let's take a function let's say we have fx equals x squared and we have a function like like this when you okay this should be at zero but you know what I mean so what you really want to find when you find dy dx or if you want to call it f prime x is actually the rate of change. So that's what we mean by derivative. So it means how much of how much of y changes as some amount of x changes. So if we wanted to write the like the actual definition of a derivative, it would be f prime x is equal to the change in x, uh, change in y's, over the change in x. But that's not exactly what a derivative is, because although that is the rate of change at some point, it is not the rate of change of the whole function. And what we actually mean by the rate of change of the whole function is what happens when you make this change in, uh, change in x, delta x, really, really small. So you try to limit such that delta x approaches zero. So what actually happens when delta x approaches zero? And in this case, we're going to try and derive the derivative of x squared, which you should know is actually 2x. But we can derive that from really simple principles. So, so let's say fx is and it's some change in in fx or some change in x and what this actually means is that you take some really small change in x and then you minus the the initial value of x over delta x and what the function f actually does is it takes any x that you give it to it and it squares it so continuing on, you'd see that this is actually equal to x plus delta x squared minus x squared. And further expanding this, it's actually x squared plus delta x squared plus 2x delta x minus x squared over delta x. And here we can cancel out x squared, and what we have is this. Let me erase this and move the derivation to the top. So what you have is delta x squared plus 2x delta x over delta x. And this is actually equals to delta x plus 2x. But if you remember, we actually have a limit where we limit delta x approaches 0. So what happens to this whole expression when delta x approaches 0? Well, delta x just becomes 0, and this stays as 2x. And there you go. We've just found that f prime x is actually 2x. And we did all this basically based on our understanding that a derivative is when you find a change in x, find the rate of change of y with respect to x, when you make the rate of change in x really, really small. So what you do is you take delta y over delta x and then you make delta x really small and if you do that and apply the function you'd eventually end up with f prime x equals 2x